Good afternoon everyone, this is Steve Cap, 5JUF. So we've got uh, another video I want to do and today we uh, are going to talk about a feature on the radio where it's called uh, it's called voice memory uh, recording and what this does is uh, this allows you to program five pre-recorded messages and each message can be up to 20 seconds long and I think where this would be helpful is, uh, for example, if you're making you uh, sideband uh, calls or asking if the frequency is in use and things like that, this can actually be something that you could just push a button and it'll transmit uh, a recording of what you're saying and uh, versus having to pick up the microphone every time. But uh, anyway, I'll show it to you. You can see it. It might be something might be pretty cool to use. Um, again, the feature is called Voice Memory Single Sideband and AM. So what we'll do, and it does not work on VHF and UHF, it only works on uh, HF. So I'll show you real quick. I've got some information here. I'm going to put this in the video also. So what we'll do today is we're going to program uh, channels 1, 2, and 3. And on the first channel we're going to put the messages, the frequency in use. The second one we'll do is CQ10, CQ10, and then of course C2, CQ6. So those would be the three different recorded messages. So one of the things I want to get you familiar with is on the radio, uh, this is important, there is a button located on the function screen called break in. It's abbreviated BK-N. Now what break in does is by default this is turned to the off position. And from what I understand break in, uh, if you press if you have break in off if you press one of the pre-recorded messages it will play the message but it will not transmit if you turn back in to the on position then when you press the pre-recorded message the it will actually transmit on the air and i think this back in is also used for cw if you're using cw short pause or long pause I think you have to have the break-in turned on because what the break-in does, I think it allows an external, uh, for example, a recording to actually activate the transmitter and also like a CW key to activate the transmitter. But if the break-in is off, then uh, only the PTT will be able to transmit on the air. So that's an important setting. So we'll go through, uh, we'll actually record some recordings here real quick and then we'll go and we'll listen to them and then we'll turn the break in to the on position and we'll actually transmit and uh, see uh, what if anybody answers us. So to, to do this, um, the first thing we'll want to do is, uh, again I'll put all this in the video, the text and everything, but what we'll do first is we'll go to VFO mode, which we're already in. So we'll go to VFO and we'll just stay on the frequency there. Then what we'll do is we'll press FM list. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use the right and left arrow keys, and I've already got it here. But what we would do is we would locate this screen right here. So these are your five individual uh, memory locations. Again, each one of them is 20 seconds long. So what we'll do first is we'll go ahead and program the first one. So to do that, what we'll do is we will touch memory and then we will touch one the record icon will start to flash on the screen when the icon is flashing it's meaning it's waiting for us to press the PTT and make the actual recording and then when we're done with the recording we release the PTT and press the memory button again this will stop the recording process so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do one right now so I will go ahead and press uh, press Kilo India. Whoops! I've got to press memory first. Now it's flashing. So when I press channel one, now when I press the PTT button, it's going to become solid, meaning it's recording. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? KI5JUF. I'm going to press the memory button. Now we've just recorded that memory, so let's listen to it. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? KI5JUF. 
Actually, that had a little extra noise to it, so let me try it again. We'll do it again. Press memory, and one. Now we're going to press the PTT. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? And I'll press release the PTT and press the memory button. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? And I'll press release the PTT. And actually it picked me up. We'll do it one more time. We'll, we'll make it right. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? KI5JUF. Alright, well now that's better. Let's try this. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? KI5JUF. Okay, so that's the first one. Now we're going to go ahead and record number two. So I'm going to press channel two. Is the frequency... Whoops. We'll press memory first. And we'll assign channel two. So now what we'll do is we will go ahead and program, uh, play this message. And again, once I press the PTT, that light will become solid. CQ10, CQ10 meter, CQ10 meter, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ10, CQ10 meter and listening. All right, let's play it back. CQ10, CQ10 meter, CQ10 meter, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ10, CQ10 meter and listening. All right, there's our second one. Now we'll do the third one. So again, the steps are, we will press the memory button, then we'll press channel three, and we'll go ahead and press the PTT, and this one here will be for uh, CQ6 meter. So let's try this. So the moment I press the PTT, that light will, that recording will become solid. CQ6 meter, CQ6 meter, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ6 meter, CQ6 meter and listening. Alright, let's play this one back. CQ6 meter, CQ6 meter, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ6 meter, CQ6 meter and listening. Okay, so now we have all three of our pre-recorded -pre 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 messages. So now what we're going to do, remember earlier I talked about the back end uh, or break in button. So what we'll do now is when I press the buttons, notice that the green indicator stays green, meaning we're not transmitting. So play it back. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? KI5JUF. So you're listening to your audio through your microphone with all the settings for the speech processor, mic gain and everything. So do you actually get to hear what you sound like uh, over the air without transmitting? So that's kind of a nice feature too is you can, and what I did a couple of times, I actually went in and adjusted the uh, uh, compression and the speech processor and some other things and uh, I could actually hear some of the differences when I had the processor turned up a little too much. Uh, it was actually kind of over distorting a little bit so you kind of get an idea what, what what you sound like. So now what we have to do is in order to use these on the air we have to go and locate the button called break in. So there's break in again break in's turned off so at this moment if I press any of those channel buttons nothing will transmit on the air. So it, it makes a nice way to test your audio if you want to hear what your microphone sounds like. So I'm going to turn break in on. Now with break in on, when I go back and press one of those channel buttons, I will be transmitting on the air. So let's go back and locate those buttons. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear the function screen. And I'm going to uh, get on the uh, uh, calling frequency 0284000 upper sideband mode is correct. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a call and see if anybody can hear us. Doesn't frequency doesn't appear to be in use, but we'll listen.
It is the frequency in use. It is the frequency in use. KI5JUF. So notice what happened here. Now we just turned red, so we actually transmit. And we'll see if anybody come back, comes back and talks to us. So, good protocol. Ask is the frequency in use. One or two times. Wait a minute or so. It is the frequency in use. It is the frequency in use. KI5JUF. Okay, now we'll go ahead and do number two. CQ10, CQ10 meter, CQ10 meter, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ10, CQ10 meter and listening. Doesn't no one came back. So that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, one of the things also that I haven't talked about, but when you're using HF, um, I have a 10 meter slash 11 meter uh, antenna. It's a half wave serial, 27 and a half. Uh, it's about 22 feet tall. Uh, so what I like to do is I like to go in and use the antenna tuner. And let me kind of give you an example of what can happen. When I key up right now on the, I'm running about 50 watts. We'll go over here to the power. power is 50 watts and what I'll show you is uh, let's go back over here and I'm gonna show you my power without the antenna tuner I'll show you that up here is the frequency in use is the frequency in use KI5 JUF so you see right there we're running about 35 watts. Now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to run the antenna tuner and our power should go up a little bit. So to run the antenna tuner I'm going to press and hold tune and when I do that the radio will actually go through and tune the uh, radio electronics to match the antenna so that the SWR is coming back into the radio or, or, or as minimal as possible. So, so to use the tune, press and hold the tune So now we've just tuned it, so let's try again. Let me uh, carefully take the camera without shaking it too much. And let's see if our power is any different now. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? KI5JUF. It's about the same. A little, maybe a little bit higher. But again, what I wanted to show you mainly was just how to use the antenna tuner. So if you're uh, going to use uh, HF, uh, you know, take advantage of the antenna tuner, particularly if your uh, SWRs are, are getting high. One of the, the, my SWR meter I have is I use a, uh, it's a Charlie November 901, and I have it set, uh, I leave it in line all the time, so anytime I transmit, I can see what's going on as far as my, uh, and of course you saw, we'll transmit one more time, there is no, uh, SWR on this one. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? KI5JUF. Yeah, you can see the, the reflective power is fine on that. So, Okay, well I'm about at the end here. This is the video I'll, I've got for you. Uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, hope it'll be useful. Um, again, I'll show you real quick the microphone. When I'm using the microphone, I this is my M100. When I'm talking on single sideband, I have the C, D, and the lower cut, but also I may have showed you this yesterday. This is very good for single sideband. It helps focus your voice into the microphone and makes your audio very, very uh, concentrated. And then for FM, I talk this way. So, okay, my timer's up. Again, this is uh, KI5JUF Steve. I hope you enjoyed the video. 73, and have a good day. And uh, we'll talk to you on the air.